Here it is, back on Dead Frontier 2 with probably the best update this game has ever had. Like, I mean the absolute best update this game's ever had. Like, there's been some okay updates, you know, a new boss, new weapon, stuff like that. Well, this is without a doubt the best update in the game. So, to start it off, I'm just going to, like, read through the Discord. You'll see a little picture on the right, so it started off here. The unique weapons and clothing that have been added to the game, there's up to, I think there's 50, there are around 50 to collect, and he has plans to add more as well. These unique items are a new type of rarity. These are the rarest of rare items, like 10 times rarer than Ali. I'm not even joking, 10 times rarer. They come with four to five fixed bonus stats, very high stats, like they're gonna be very good items when you find them. Very good thing brought to the game. Gold memberships been brought to the game for those that did not know. Uh, some people have been upset that it's not that it's super pay to win and all that crap. No, it's not pay to win. You get a little bit of an XP boost, a little bit of ammo quantity. I think it's like forty or fifty percent. Um, I can't remember, but it's not huge. It's not pay to win. It's going to bring some money to the game. Obviously, the more money it gets to the game, the better the, the better the development will be. Faster will get more updates, so it's a good thing. As long as obviously pay to win stuff don't start coming in, like pay to win items and guns, then the little membership thing is fine. It's just it's a it's a bloody monthly membership. It's a free game. Like stop complaining. <laughs> but yeah, it's a gold membership. I think it's like a seven pound a month or something like that, and you get two hundred credits with it. You know what I mean? So it's a good deal. Comrade and the Sons, everyone knows Comrade and Sons, the 20 story building, it's a lot harder than all the rest of the buildings, all zombies now run in that area, marked more clearly on the map, in addition you now get all three boss loots, that's a good thing, to be fair everything about that sign is good, so you have five times better chance of getting an elite item, you get a boss from, a loot from every single boss, you used to only get it from one, if you don't know what Comrade Inc is, it's a 20 story building, the very last, um, when you get to the boss room, instead of having one boss, you have three bosses, and now you get five times chance of getting an elite item from one of them bosses. And you, free, and you get loot from all three now, which is loads better. Uh, all, all accounts now have got a free stat reset. I think that's because he's put some new um, skills into the game. There's a couple of new ones. Walking while aiming no longer resets your crosshair. That should have been done on day one. On best, best part of this update, personally. That's what I think. Well, second best, actually. I like the membership. Definitely a really good part of the update, though. You can now perform all special moves without has having their relevant skill. Again, something that everyone's been asking for since day one. Great update. So what that means is you can sprint without having sprinters. Just if you get sprinter, obviously you'll get better cooldown, down, better speed and stuff like that. You can now crouch all the time so you can sneak about. You can always kick. So them three special abilities you have straight off the bat. You don't have to get them to level one anymore. I think you still have to get lock picking to level one because, yeah, I mean, yeah, that, you know that's understandable. Relics are now clearly marked and cannot be enhanced slash traded because it was too overpowered. Good fix. Uh, like I know a lot of people are mad about that. Get over it. It's a good fix. It saves the game from being broke. Number of trades for elite and unique items increased from two to three. Can't complain on that. I always forget that this game has limited amount of trades. And honestly, I have no idea why that's in the game. Admin, if you see this, please remove that. Like, I, I'm pretty sure everyone would agree with me. Like, we don't want limited trades. It's such a random thing to have in the game. It's super unnecessary. Equipment now has approximately two times higher scrap value. So when you're scrapping stuff, you're now going to make more money. Again, 10 out of 10, respect. PvP zones have been mo uh, being moved to be smaller and nearer to outposts. I don't know a single person that PvPs in this game, but if anyone does, that's a good update for you. You aren't gonna run as far. And, you know, obviously for everyone else, it's better because the PvP areas aren't as big anymore. Frequency of child spawns has been slightly reduced. Obviously, people are getting a bit annoyed with how many of the little ones they are, because they are very, very fast, and they're a little bit annoying. But it's cool to have them in games, so now there's not as many, it's not as much as a problem. Children no longer push you around. Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Number of locked rooms in small buildings have been reduced. Can't complain with that. Number of locked rooms in large buildings has been increased. Obviously, you get better loot from them rooms now. First rate lowered. 
Yeah, it was, it was crazy. You were thirsty all the time, so that's a good update. A visual bug for building a character name text has been fixed. Nice little bug fix. Fixed a visual bug with burnt girl's hair. Never noticed it personally. Reduced choir's scream sound volume. Finally. <laughs> like, that shit was loud. Increased chainsaw sound volume. Don't really see why he's done that, but I, yeah, it is what it is. Fixed a bug that caused common items to appear in locked rooms. So you don't find common items anymore. Sweet. Fixed a lockpick chance display bug. Didn't even know about that, but it's fixed now. Awesome. Fixed another stash related bug. Awesome. So that's it. That's all the updates. It's been honestly a huge improvement on the gameplay. It's just really good. If anything, if anything, nah, just please for the admin, if you see this, please for the love of God, new inventory system. Like, I really, people see me streaming today, I don't know if you're in the stream or not. I've said in the stream, I'll say it again now. The game's getting a lot better, it's doing a lot of work on it. But until there's a new inventory system and a new searching option for buying items, I'm not going to start playing the game heavily again. It's just too tedious to deal with on a daily basis. It's a very tedious um, inventory system, and I won't like. I'm gonna start playing the game a little bit. Um, obviously, we've got the gold membership and stuff like that, so we want to test all that out. If we get any new items, obviously we'll do a video on that. That'll be awesome. But um, yeah, until there's a new inventory system, I won't be getting fully back into the game because. Honestly, I'm, I, I said on stream earlier when I when I loaded the game today, I was so shocked that we still have that same inventory system. But yeah, really good update, really impressed with it, really happy with it. Admin Pawn, if you see this, great work, keep it up, mate. Yeah, gold membership, good thing for you and for us. Don't let, like, what people say, the people that are complaining, just completely ignore them. They're like, they don't know what they're on about. You know, obviously, you need to make money from the game. We need to, you know, like, fund you somehow. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? All the work that you put in. So, yeah. Just ignore the haters. It's a good update. Uh, and that's everything, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, I hope it helps. Look out for some future videos. We're going to be doing some uh, builds. Uh, yeah, I've got a good build video that I've just made. It's just like a solo build rifle. Um, we'll be looking at that probably tomorrow or something. So, yeah. Catch you in the next one, guys. Hope this video informed you on something. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.